We are walking up the steps of this temple. <laughs> I think it's called Paru Angu. We are at the top. And this is where we just took photos. So beautiful here. Here we are walking back down and taking in the beautiful ancient surroundings. Luckily, we arrived early in the morning around 9 a.m. and the line wasn't too long to take photos at the famous spot, Gates of Heaven. Our second stop for the day was Turta and Pork, which means Holy Water Spring. It was a Balinese kingdom built in 960 AD and it's a common place for people to take purification baths where the water flows in from Tukad Pakarisan River. We spent some time feeding the magnificent koi fishes in the pond and watched an ongoing purification bath pond. Lunch with a view. After lunch, we were on a mission to find a popular waterfall. The hike going down was easy and it only took us 15 minutes. going inside to see the waterfall. The water felt so nice on this hot and humid day and I ended up keeping my sandals on because the rocks are so sharp and I didn't want to get my feet scratched. Look at the waterfall! And of course I had to share this on my Instagram. If you ever want to follow along my travel diary, it is up on my highlights at Sophie and Lai, so definitely check that out. Hiking through these ginormous rocks was so surreal and it was eye-opening to see how small we are compared to the universe and everything that is created on Mother Earth. Our last stop for the day was a coffee plantation overlooking the rice terraces. We learned about harvesting, sorting, fermenting, and the drying process of the coffee beans here and we even got to roast and grind some from a life-size mortar and pestle. Bali is famous for the Luwak coffee, which is coffee made from poop. The civet cat eats the coffee cherries and passes the seed and the bean is then used to make these overpriced coffee. The animals are confined in a tiny cage and force fed these coffee cherries, creating so much suffering for these beautiful creatures. So please do your research, know where your money is going towards, and make sure you don't support organizations that mistreat animals for our own entertainment. As we finished up the coffee tour, there were some thrilling swings tied to these palm trees for us to experience. I had seen so many pictures of the Bali swing before coming here and did not expect it to be so scary, yet so fun. You get strapped in, which made me feel so much better, and after the first couple swings, I got used to it and was able to embrace the moment. We each got to swing facing forward and backward, which lasted about 10 minutes, and that worked up another appetite. So we walked up to the viewpoint and enjoyed a coffee and tea tasting overlooking the rice terraces. We had the whole place to ourselves and got to take yet another Instagrammable shot in the bird's nest that they built. I hope you found this video helpful. Please like and subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you next time.